Okay, YouTube, it's Jonathan, and I am back with my second Halloween tutorial of the spooky season. I'm super excited for this one. It's kind of different for me. I was trying to think of something very creative and interesting to do that would also still be um, kind of an easy, like, costume-wise. This look is just an Andy Warhol look, so I'm going to be Andy Warhol on one side, and my costume and hair is going to be Andy Warhol, and then on the other side of my face, I'm going to be recreating the pop art image of Marilyn Monroe, so it's going to be kind of a two-faced look. So for this look, obviously we're going to be doing normal makeup on one side of the face and crazy makeup on the other. So I'm going to be using two different primers. One on the regular side of my face. This is the Smashbox Photo Ready Light Primer. I'm going to be putting that all over the left side of my face. And then on the right side of my face, I'm going to be priming with an eyeshadow primer. Any eyeshadow primer will work. The one that I'm going to choose is from Pure Minerals, and this is Cease Crease. I know it's pretty weird to be putting eyeshadow primer on an entire half of my face, but I'm going to be placing a lot of eyeshadow there and a lot of cream color there, and I really want it to stick and last throughout the night. So now I'm working on the regular side of my makeup. I'm just applying a little bit of my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer under this eye. You can do this side of your makeup however you like to do it. The powder foundation that I'm using on this side it's the Lancome Dual Finish Powder in the shade 120. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit this side with a little bit of my Marc Jacobs bronzer as well. I'm also lightly sculpting this cheek with this bronzer. Andy Warhol was a very angular man. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little bit of contour while I'm over here with this bronzer. For the brow on this side of my face, I'm gonna be using the Brow Tech Trio from Smashbox. I'm gonna start with a little bit of the wax and place that just on the outer section here where I really need the powder to stick. You can fill it in your brows however you like to normally fill them in. This is what I've been doing lately when I want more of a full on brow. Alright, so with that brow on, all I'm going to do on this eye is curl these lashes and put a tiny bit of brow gel on. And then I'm pretty much done with the left side of my face. So the left side is now done. We're going to be moving on to my right side. On this side of my face, I'm going to be recreating the Marilyn Monroe portrait. And of course, she's got the pink skin, the bright blue on the eye, and the red lip. And it's got all of the dramatic black outlining. So I'm going to start by doing the skin. And for that, I'm going to be taking a cream blush. This one is from NYX, and this is in the shade Natural. But any pink cream blush will do. And I'm going to be applying that as I would a liquid foundation on this side of my face. I'm using a concealer brush to bring that down the center because I want a very sharp line down the center of my face. You could use pink face paint for this. You could use anything pink for this that you don't mind putting all over your skin. I'm not going to take this down onto my neck. I'm going to take it straight up the jawline. Once I have the outline on, I'm then going to move to a foundation brush and just press this into the rest of that outlined area. And I'm taking that all the way up into the inner corner and across the under eye area. And to set that and make sure it's as full coverage and pigmented as possible, I'm actually going to be using a pink eyeshadow from one of my BH Cosmetics palettes. I'm going to be choosing this color right here, but any bubblegum shade of pink will work. While I'm doing this, I'm using a couple different shades of pink to kind of highlight and contour my face. So I'm using a lighter shimmery pink under the eye area and a darker one on the sides of the nose. And I'm just doing this to kind of shape the face to make it a little bit more dramatic. We are going to move on to a little bit of contour. I'm going to be using the pointed foundation brush from e.l.f. I use this to apply a little bit of the pink shadow to set my face. So there's a little bit of pink on here, so it's going to help to blend in the black contour shade that we're using. I'm still working with my BH Cosmetics palette, and I'm going to be taking some of the darker grays and blacks from the corner and I'm going to be working those into the hollow of my cheek over here. And it's okay if this is a little bit messy and kind of choppy and doesn't blend. Um, this is a painting that we're recreating and some of this is textural over here in the contour section. There's a little bit of cross hatching here. So I'm using the kind of ends of my stippling eye brush to press some of that contour shade in to, keep, to leave some of that cross hatching detail and then blending over it with the, with the foundation brush. I'm also going to be applying whatever's left over on the brush just to this section under the brow. And I'm going to do the same thing underneath the tip of my nose and inside my nostril. So now we're going to move on to the eye on the Maryland side of our face. We're going to be using a cream product, again, kind of like we did the face, a cream product and then a powder shadow over top of it to set it and make it as bright and vibrant as possible. The color on the eye is a bright, bright turquoise, so I'm going to be using a blue liner 
all on the eyelid. Um, and I'm gonna be shaping this. The shape of this is very important. It's very round in the intersection here. It swoops back down and then it wings back up a little bit. And I'm filling this whole space in with this blue pencil. And of course, still working with my BH Cosmetics, I'm gonna set that eye area with this bright turquoise blue shade. There's a very deep set part in the painting, just right here. I'm applying quite a, like a navy shade there, and then in a moment when I work with my detailed eyeliner, I'm gonna go in and put a little bit of liner there to make that look very, very prominent. Hopefully all of this is starting to make a little bit more sense now that that eye is on. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the brow using the same brow brush that I used earlier and a couple of gray and black shades. I'm going to fill in my brow, giving that very triangular shape that Marilyn was known for. I don't wanna start off too dark because I do want to have room to kind of go in and use a bit of liquid liner to draw in some actual hairs. So I'm sticking mostly with gray tones right now. Now moving on to this lip, we're going to be using a deep, deep red. I'm going to be using Cruella from NARS. I've used this before. And I'm just going to fill in half my lips. On top of that red lip, I'm just pressing a touch of red and purple eyeshadow mixed together to set it into place because I'm going to be coloring on top of it with a little bit of liner to enhance the shape. So setting that with a bit of powder and a matching red shade will make that a little bit easier. And now going back to that angled brow brush, I'm gonna be using this to line my lips with a touch of black and gray eyeshadow. And then I'm really focusing on getting that Marilyn Monroe shape to my lips, um, which is very, very high and heavy on this outer corner. Now we're going to go on to the super fun bit. I'm going to be detailing with a liquid liner. This one's from Laura Geller in the Eye Calligraphy Black. And I'm just going to be using this to kind of go in and draw little dots here, do my winged liner, put a little bit of extra line around the lip. But first I'm going to be using it to put on my beauty mark, which is going to go right in this cheek. Then I'm going to be putting a couple of strokes through the brow just to show some hairs there. Just a little bit of cross hatching. And of course I'm gonna be using this to apply my winged eyeliner all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner with a more straight out wing than an up and down wing. I kinda of wanna pull it as long and sexy as possible. And if any section of this isn't perfect, your liner isn't perfect, really don't worry about it. It's kind of textural and it's all okay to be a little bit imperfect. Um, I, You can see I have a little bit of extra liner on the top of mine. It's just gonna look like a cool shadow. It's all gonna look intentional. I am going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this liner just, just like that. It looks actually pretty close to how it looks in the painting. Just kind of a wedge of liner right in that crease section to deepen that. And I am pretty chuffed with the way that eye looks. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this underneath as well. And I'm actually going to kind of draw in a shadow under my eye of where the eyelashes are going to leave a shadow on my face. If you watched last year's Marilyn Monroe, oh I did a Marilyn Monroe last year and this year. If you watch last year's Marilyn Monroe tutorial, you'll see that that's a really big part of her look is this little section right here with the little swoopy down. This is really just the shadow of eyelashes. And I'm going to be applying a bit of NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk into my waterline. This is the like most blunt eyeliner ever. I need to sharpen this so bad, but I cannot find my sharpener anywhere. So I'm very carefully applying that into my waterline very poorly. And if it gets on your lashes, 
Don't worry, we're gonna put mascara on them, um, but you can give them a brush through with a spoolie. Then to my upper and lower lashes, I'm gonna be applying a bit of black mascara. You can use whatever mascara you choose. I'm gonna be applying some false lashes, so it doesn't really matter. That's not gonna um, affect it too much, which mascara you choose. And I'm just applying eyelashes to this side. These are from NYX, they are in the style number five. I am letting my glue dry, and then I'm going to be placing them kind of a little bit further down than they actually should be and a little bit onto this wing. I really want to be um, lengthened and very heavy, very similar to the painting and how Marilyn would actually have worn her eyelashes. So after I apply that, I'm gonna let it dry for a minute, then I'm gonna go ahead and touch up the line with a little bit of the black liner just to cover any of the glue that's visible. And then as a finishing touch, just to set everything and make sure nothing is gonna move, I am pressing in a touch of translucent white setting powder from Dermablend. And with a change of my hair, this Andy Warhol look is done. Of course you could just do Andy Warhol or just do Marilyn Monroe, but I thought the kind of half and half would be kind of cool because it represents the artist and the art all at the same time. And I have swooped my hair over to one side and put on a black turtleneck. That's kind of his signature look. He definitely had platinum hair. You could go ahead and bleach your hair, you could go ahead and get a wig, um, or you could just go ahead and not worry about the color of your hair like I did and just sweep it all to one side. I also have a pair of large black sunglasses which can kind of complete this look. You do lose the Marilyn Monroe eye with this but he always had those dark sunglasses in pictures so they're kind of a cool accessory for the outfit but I'm going to take these off because I don't want it to ruin the makeup on this side of my face. Well that completes number two of my Halloween tutorials. I hope that you all enjoyed this. I know it's rather different for me to do something so wild and crazy but I hope that you liked it. If you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you would ever try a look like this for yourself or if you would ever do this for Halloween on yourself and don't forget to check out my description box while you're down there as well. You can check me out on all forms of social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all of those things are at John John Talks. If you recreate this look, please Snapchat me a photo, tag me on Instagram in a photo, tweet me a photo. I would love to see it. And if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face now so that you'll be here for my next Halloween tutorial. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!